for case 14, we have a 60 year old with right sided weakness. So we're moving on to images of the brain again. Here you see two images from a non contrast CT. Take a quick look at those. That's usually the first study that a patient suspected of stroke is going to get. Now the patient is going to go on to get CT perfusion. So here I've shown you the perfusion maps through the central brain. Up in the left corner, you have the CBV or cerebral blood volume. Top right, you have the cerebral blood flow. The bottom left, you have the MTT or mean transit time. The bottom right, you have the Tmax. Let's take a look at those. And, and perfusion symmetry is your friend. Finally, you see some images from a MIP of a coronal CT angiogram through the head. So look to see if you find any areas of, of associated abnormality. So your first question is, what is the likely diagnosis? Your second question is, which perfusion feature is likely present in completed infarct but not penumbra? So the question is really getting at which of these perfusion features help you differentiate uh, completed infarct and penumbra. Is it either MTT or CVV? And once you determine which, is it when it's increased or decreased? So here we have a case of ischemia. A cerebral ischemia occurs when you have a loss of blood flow to the brain and cell death. The early findings are increase on diffusion weighted images, so they get bright. And then you have uh, elevated perfusion times, including the MTT and Tmax. Later, you start to get decreased density on CT from the edema. Similarly, you get abnormal flare. And once the infarct starts to complete, you'll have a decreased CVV and also blood flow. Later, within a day or two, you'll start to get enhancement, both on non-contrast CT, I mean on contrast CT and MRI. Now here you have your non-contrast CT. What that's showing is uh, relatively normal. You don't see much of a much of an abnormality there, so that's pretty normal. Now, when you're looking at perfusion parameters in stroke, I uh, Penumbra and completed stroke. So penumbra is tissue that's not dead yet, uh, whereas completed stroke is thought to be dead completely. Uh, you have relative preservation of your cerebral blood volume in penumbra, maybe preservation or slight decrease in your blood flow, but your transit times will be increased. Once your stroke is completed, then you tend to have decreases in both flow and blood volume. Here you see the perfusion that I showed you. The cerebral blood volume is relatively maintained, so it looks pretty normal back there, but you start to see areas of decreased blood flow. You have a wedge-like region back here. On MTT, you see similar uh, a significant uh, increase in the mean transit time as well as the Tmax. So what you're looking at here is predominantly an area of penumbra, although uh, the flow has, is showing some early signs of decrease. Now this is the question was about which of these features help you differentiate penumbra from uh, completed infarct. Now that is the blood flow and blood volume. In this particular case, like what you want to think about is blood volume. As long as you have maintained blood volume, you may be getting adequate perfusion from collaterals, so your tissue may not die yet. Once you have decreased cerebral blood volume, that's thought to be core or completed infarct. Here you see the CT angiogram images that I showed you. And you see the first of all, this is the left MCA here. You see there's some irregularity of this branch that turns superiorly. And then you also see abrupt truncation of this branch. So you see some asymmetry here. Uh, for instance, this is the companion branch over here and uh, there's an occlusion there. So that's what's causing your ischemia.